Hi guys, welcome to Rav's Retreat again. My name's Rav, and today we're in the retreat. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my shack. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about finishing products, but more precisely, oil finishing products. Um, they are a finishing product that I use quite a lot. A lot of my turnings tend to be um, finished with oil products and then a Carnauba wax applied over the oil product via a mop or a buff. Right then, let's get started. First off, this one. Now I got this when I first started turning. Now if you've seen it before, it's called tea coil. This one's made by Rustins tea coil. As you can see from the bottle, it's a finishing oil that I don't use a great deal of. Hence why the bottle's virtually full still. Um, it's not really an oil that is of much use for wood turners. Um, now don't get me wrong, on some woods it can look really nice. On Cocobolo it can look nice. On Honduran Walnut it can look nice. And indeed on Teak it can look nice. But in general, I don't use it. Um, it's just, I don't know. It does have some value, but there are other oils out there that do a better job that, and that are easier to apply. So let's move on. The next one we'll look at is good old Danish oil. Now, probably just about 90% of wood turners have probably got some form of Danish oil in their workshop. It's brilliant stuff, really is. This again is made by Rustins. Um, I'm sure in the States, in the, U in the US, you have uh, suppliers, you know, that make Danish oil, just as we do in the UK. Uh, Rustins is quite a popular brand over here in the UK. It's a good Danish oil. It's got quite a high solids content. Dries quickly. You know, it's a really, leaves a nice finish. Um, it's not a shiny finish, it's a matte, well not matte, but, uh, oh, what's the uh, the word I'm looking for, satin finish, more of a satiny finish. Um, I tend to apply mine, this is an old washing up liquid bottle, and I tend to use them. I uh, decant the Danish oil into these, and it makes them a lot more, a lot easier to uh, apply. As you can see from looking at the uh, the liquid, there's quite a high solid content in there. So it, it does help fill the uh, the pores of the wood. Leaves a, a nice finish. And again, you can put waxes over the top and whatnot. There's probably a, a lot of wood turners out there that use nothing else other than Danish oil. And good luck to them, you know, it is an excellent oil. You get different manufacturers have different takes on them. Now, Organ Oil, who make these oils, they make a Danish oil. Okay, but although I'm a big fan of Organ Oil, their Danish oil, I don't think, is as good as Rustin's, because it's, it's just an oil, there's no solids in it. So therefore it doesn't fill the pores of the wood. So, but th that's just my thoughts on it anyway. It's a good oil, good, 
good oil. It's a good, if there was one oil, if you could only use one oil for the rest of your life, for your wood turnings, Danish oil would be a good one to pick. Moving on. This is chestnut food safe finish, which is basically, um, oh, what they call it? Is it paraffin? What is it that's in this stuff now? It's just paraffin wax, isn't it? Not wax, paraffin oil. Basically, it's the same stuff if you go to your doctors with constipation he will probably prescribe you some of this stuff <laughs> because if you were to drink this bottle it wouldn't harm you but by golly you would have the runs um, it's, it, it's not it, oh, I can explain it, it it's, Obviously, it's food safe. It says it, doesn't it? It's not going to harm you. But the finish that it leaves is not good. Um, for me, it's somewhat similar to spraying the bowl, the bowl with water. You know, it's not a hard wearing finish either. It soon wears off. Um, I don't use it. I've got a bottle of it, but I don't use it at all, to be honest. Now, these next ones, these are made by a company called Organ Oil. Now, I bought three different ones when I first got turning. This, this, and this. Now, this is the original can. This is the original can. But this one is the second can. Okay? Wood sheen, not, don't recommend it. Interior finishing oil, don't recommend. Actually, these are okay for wet sanding. If you want to wet sand, these are good. But the oil that I do recommend, very much so, is Organ Oil's High Speed Finishing Oil for wood turners. This stuff is brilliant. It really is. Basically what you would do is you would turn your item, you would sand it to 600, 800 or 1200 grit. Let's say 600 grit. You would then give it a good coat of this stuff with the lathe stopped. Really lather it on. You would then get the 600 grit sandpaper which you just used on, you know, to, uh, to, uh, to sand your work and you would go over it again. Now, with the bean oil on the, 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 the item, it would then form a slurry, okay? And that slurry would start to fill in all the, uh, the pores and grain of the wood. You would then move on to 800 grit, do the same, then 1200 grit, and sometimes I'll go right up to 2500, 3000 grit even. And it leaves a finish which is amazing. It's silky smooth, it, it just, the only downside to it is that it takes about 48 hours to dry. But that's the only downside. The finish it leaves is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I cannot recommend this oil enough. It really is. It's the ideal wood turner's oil. That's why it's got a lathe on it. It's, it's just brilliant. They say it's a, th a thick oil, but I don't think so. It's not thick at all, it's quite thin, but it, it just does its job perfectly. If you're looking to try some different finishes out, guys, have a look for this in your shops or wherever you buy your stuff from. Get, get yourself a tin 
and follow the instructions to the letter. Okay? And it, it's just brilliant stuff. It, the wood that it w works amazingly well on is yew. Yew wood. It's just phenomenal. Um, you can then go over the top of it with the uh, Carnuba wax, you know, applied by wheel. Or I can go over it with a, a paste wax. But it's, it's absolutely brilliant. In fact, I mean, you can just... You don't have to go over it. You can just leave it as it turns out, you know, with no finish over the top of it. It's just a brilliant, brilliant oil. I highly recommend this. It goes a long way. It lasts a long time as well. I've been turning around about 10 years. I got this about 12 months into my turning. So I've been using it about 9 years. And this is my second tin in nine year. So it goes a long, long way. Okay? It's just a brilliant oil. I cannot shout this from the mountain tops enough. And it's not stupidly priced either. It's just a brilliant oil, guys. Try it. Okay? Organ oil. Natural oil timber finishes. Based on genuine tongue oil which is a good hardy oil. High speed finishing oil for wood turners. There's half a litre in it, so it's going to last you a long time. But it produces a finish which is second to none. It really does. And it's wet sanding at the same time. So not only are you getting a lovely finish, you're also wet sanding at the same time. So you're going to get an even better finish. It's brilliant guys, cannot recommend it enough. Get yourself a tin of this, you won't be disappointed. But you do have to fin you do have to follow the instructions word for word to the letter, okay? Otherwise things can go wrong. But follow those instructions and you will be happy with the results. I guarantee you. Right guys. We'll end this video here. Um, again, I may make a, a video in the near future showing you the different finishes, how to apply them, and also what they look like once they've been applied to the uh, to an item. So keep your eyes out for that. In the next video, we will be looking at waxes, I think. Paste waxes and... Uh, yeah, paste waxes generally. So if you'd like to join me for that, I will be very happy. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Take care in your workshops. Watch your fingers, watch your eyes. Most importantly, take care of your lungs. Because wood turning ain't much fun if you can't breathe. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.